Okay, so today I'm gonna to show you how to shape the crown on a brand new straw hat. This was ordered open crown, so I'm gonna show you how to go about that process. But before we get too far, we kind of have to decide what type of crown we're gonna put in this. And so, especially with straws, I like to do the most conservative version of what I want in the end. So if this is for me, I like to, you know, keep them as tall as possible, just because I know I can always go further down. Um, the other thing too is I'm gonna put, um, it's kind of a minute crown. I'll kind of explain what that is, but I'm going to kind of shy away from really putting anything stark in it uh, to start. But when you look at this, I'll have you come up close. These all have a weave, so these are weaved together. So I can get a pretty good idea of where exactly center is on this hat. And so that'll be a good place to start my hands. Um, and you can kind of tell exactly where you are. So if I want this to be even over the top, I would drag my hands both out to kind of the same circumference. And so straws are, are, are a great place to start when you're learning how to do this. So first thing I do is put some heat to it. So just like any other hat, this has a lacquer. We're warming up the lacquer, not necessarily the straw. And so we have to be pretty careful not to overheat it. But when you start, you're gonna need quite a bit of heat. So just as a, as a tip, just keep it moving pretty good. When it's been on there for 20, 30 seconds, maybe 10, you can feel it. If it feels warm, you're probably ready. When I do the crown, I kind of go a little warmer than normal, just so I don't crack or break anything. Especially because when you do a crown, it's a pretty aggressive uh, thing to do to a hat. So I make sure it's nice and warm all the way over. And then I go to my board. So I'm gonna do the center line. Put my thumbs right on that dot. And I'm just gonna push down first. And then I'm gonna pull out, okay? Now this is not even nearly as deep as I probably will want it, but that's where I'll start. So I'll just kind of repeat that motion a couple times and maybe hold my hand there, wait for it to cool before I do really anything, okay? And so you can immediately go to looking at what that did, you know, hold it to the side, decide does this look level over the top? It doesn't have to be level, but if that's the look you're going for, you want to do that. If I were only pulled my hand down so far on one side or the other, it would look Unlevel. So I'm just going to go back and kind of reinforce that line that I have there. And I'll show you kind of why I do that. Because that's, in my opinion, not done. Uh, there's a couple spots in there that are kind of bubbled out. Not going to make or break the style of the hat, but it certainly could be done better. So warm it up right where I'm going. I'm pretty close to this heat. If you're a newbie, kind of stay back a little bit. Okay, back down to the board. I'm going to repeat that same motion. Okay, so you can see a little bubble right there and maybe somewhere else. I can address that from the inside too. But for right now, I'm just trying to get a nice consistent line across the top. Now what I'm trying to prevent is really putting a hard crease here or here because if I do that, I might be able to get it to come back, but there's a chance that I wouldn't. So this is now where I'll put heat on it one more time and I'm gonna work it like this instead of this that way i can address a few of those little bubbles so here's the heat again and then we're going to put some side vents on so depending on the style of crown you have it's honestly a pretty quick process um, especially the first time i put a crown in a hat i don't you know go too crazy because i might change my mind after i put it on my head okay so there we go i'm going to set it down so this time i'm going to use both thumbs and i'm just going to work them towards that point that i made I'm going to flip it around and work them towards that point that I made. So I'm going to try to lessen the intensity of that point to try to address some of those bubbles. Okay, so there's still a little bubble. Some of this is due to the coarseness of the weave, and that's just the cheaper of the hat. So, I mean, you're not going to get this perfect, but if this was a finer Bangora or something like that, it wouldn't do that as much. So to me, that's acceptable. So this is when I would look at the side, decide you know how level I want that to be. If you were doing a brick or something of that sort, you would want to go lower. If it was a cattleman, you might want to pull further out. In other videos, we can show you those specific crowns, but this is the start that I like. So now I'm going to put two identical side dents or, or um, divots in there, vents. I don't know the exact name for them, but something that you can grab if that's, if that's what you're wanting to use those for, or it's just a style thing. So I'm just gonna heat one side at a time, pretty localized right where I'm going, pretty warm. Okay, now I'm gonna go to my board and I'm gonna look at my center dot once again. And this is where I get to decide how low I want that or how high I want that. So as I've said before, I like to start pretty conservatives, which is higher. 
and I'm gonna put my two thumbs in there and just start with that center divot. I'm not gonna pull it out. I'm just gonna try to push straight in until it cools. Okay, I can move my thumbs around a little bit if I want to, but that's just that right there, okay? Now I'm gonna go to the other side, make an identical divot. Okay, nice and hot right at that spot. Okay, same thing here. I'm looking dead center and over at my other one, trying to remember kind of where I started my hands. They weren't down here. They were about right there. And I'm just going to push in. Okay, when that starts to cool, I can go here and look straight on top. Those divots aren't very deep, so they're going to want to pop out. So I, I might put a little more heat on that. But you can kind of see how symmetrical that is from the start. Okay, so I'm gonna pull my divots out just a little bit more. I don't go very far because I'm pretty conservative with it, knowing that I can always go lower or more intense. Especially with straws, you don't have that many do-overs, so you kind of want to be pretty conservative to start. Okay, so I put my hands in that divot that I started, and all I'm gonna do is pull my thumbs nice and even, straight out. And then go back to the center, straight out. And this, if I don't hold till it cools, might pop back into place. So I'm just trying to make a nice even divot right here. When I feel it start to cool, I might hold my hands and let it sit. Okay, so you can see what that looks like right there. Very conservative. This could be way further down. This could be way further out. This is just where I start. Okay, now I'm just going to match it on the other side. Use plenty of heat just so that you're not wasting your time or stressing the straw. Okay. Same thing, put my hand in that divot, look across the way, pull my hands out to what looks to be about the same. I'm just gonna work that over and over. I try to not do a lot of this, just straight out, straight in. Okay, so then I look up top and just get a gauge on that. So there's a lot of different alterations you can do to a crown, but that's the basics. You start with the center, use the weave to help you, and then decide what look you're going for. So this is kind of a minute crown, works really well for me. It's a good first crown to put in a hat and then you can go from there. So if you like this video and wanna see more videos just like this, please like and subscribe to the Startup Cowboy channel.